hello everyone welcome to another tutorial video my name is william in this video i would like us to look at how to install and use shad cn in a laravel view inertia application and in this case we have the ways in which you can be able to install it using breeze or maybe using jetstream but in this uh, video i would like to attempt installing shad cn without necessarily using any starter kit so let us go ahead and look into it of course we have a new installation of the laravel application but i have not installed inertia so that is what i would like us to do we go to the inertia page that is inertiajs.com and we are going to look at how to do the setup on the server side so of course we need to first of all include the inertia.js uh, package so we will in our terminal run composer require forward slash inertia hyphen laravel to get the inertia adapter for laravel we will then go ahead and uh, create our middleware so that is uh, the inertia middleware php artisan inertia middleware is what we are going to run and then we will have a middleware that is called handle inertia requests you can be able to find it in app http middleware handle inertia requests so this is the middleware that has been created after that then we can go ahead and include this middleware for the web guard so i will just uh, copy what we have here just paste it in bootstrap app and then here where we have with middleware we just paste everything so it says mid middleware web append handle inertia requests you know and then of course it is important for us to import it above here so having done that we can go ahead and now set up the root template so in this case we have um, this one here and we will include it in resources views so i want us to just create a new file which we are going to call app.blade dot php and inside this uh, file is where i'm going to paste what we have here and basically whatever it is that is there is that we are including um, vite and we are also passing it passing inertia head and uh, inertia in the body so basically that is that after that we can go ahead and do the client side um, setup and here we are working with view so we are going to run npm install inertia js uh, view 3 so that is what i will paste here that has completed uh, been installed and then of course we need to go ahead and uh, add this piece of code in our app in our resources js app.js so i would like to just include this one here like that and what we are having we are resolving whatever it is that is so is uh, stored in uh, pages as the view files that we have we have there of course we are creating a view application and importing the create inertia app uh, from inertia js uh, version 3 so uh, view 3 so basically that is what we're having and then we are mounting our um, application and uh, loading it so in this case i also want to inside this js directory create a new directory which we are going to call pages and in the pages i would like us to have just one page one file which i'm going to call home and inside this directory i would like us to just have the template so you have script uh, setup I always like to use a uh, composition API in Vue.js. So then we will close the script tag. After that, we also need template, template uh, like that. And inside here, we can be able to have something. For example, h1, There's something of that sort. So h1 on page. After that, I would like to continue and do a little bit of more setup before we come and check this out. So obviously, um, resolving components is what is explained above there, and we have our root application, which we have as an app. So I want us to 
also include the Vite.js plugin for view. So uh, we'll um, also do npm install at uh, Vite.js forward slash plugin hyphen view. And after that, for us to be able to set it up, we can go to our Vite config, Vite.config.js file. And we will import uh, that. So import uh, view from uh, Vite.js plugin view. And of course, we will include it here. So we add view. We can have it like that. We may be able to pass in options, but uh, we can leave it like that for now. After doing that, I would like us to go ahead and attempt to install ShardCN for Vue.js. But before we do that, I need to add one more file here. So we need uh, a new file, which um, we are going to call jsconfig, jsconfig.json. And I would like this file to have um, the compiler options and then uh, this URL and so on and so forth. So in this case, we have uh, compiler options need to use uh, double quotes and then inside here we can have the base url and um, I'd like it to just be like that and then after that we can also have the parts and for the parts we will have resources js like that and then of course we can exclude we can exclude the node modules and also public like that. So basically that is how our JS config file looks like. And now you save it. I would now like us to go ahead and see how we can be able to install uh, shard CN for view. So, so you go to shard CN view and then go to documentation and go to installation. After that, select Laravel. Now, when you look at this, uh, instructions, it is uh, creating a new Laravel app, but it is a breeze application or something of that sort and so on and so forth so basically in this case we want to do it without using those um, presets so we're just installing shard cn view like that so i'll just run npx shard cn view at latest in it so basically that is what i will paste here and now it's asking us whether we are using typescript and i will say no that's the reason why we had js config so if you're using typescript then it will be ts config instead of js config and then the application is laravel and then the default the style we can choose maybe new york this one for the color let us choose gray i'm just choosing generally and then it is asking us for the js config file and that is the file that we have just created here. So you hit enter. And then it is also asking where our global CSS app is. It is actually in resources, CSS app.css. So it is here. Um, let me just show you. So it is here, resource, resources app CSS. So there are some files that the application we write inside there. So again, we will do that. Then it is asking us whether we would like to use the CSS variables for colors. So you can either choose yes or no, depending on what you want. And then are you using any Tailwind uh, prefix? So if you are having Tailwind prefixes, you can change. But in this case, we will do nothing. And then where is your Tailwind.config located? Again, it is within the base uh, directory. So we will just hit enter. And then um, after that, we are being asked for the components, the alias for the component. So in this case, for this one, I will say at uh, forward slash capital components like that. So the capital C, because the component folder or directory uh, has something of that sort. And I believe we do not have that one. So maybe we can go ahead and do that. So we need that file in um, in resources uh, JS inside here. So we have pages and we need also a new file that is called, I mean, a new folder 
that is called components it is a directory so it is a directory so you have new folder and we call it components like that such that when uh, it begins compiling we will not have uh, issues and then we have uh, the utils these ones i think we'll just leave it for it to create on its own so you hit enter and then we can go ahead and and ask it to write the configuration and let us see what happens and so now we have success project initialization completed so in this case it seems that um, everything is fine so let us try and see if we can be able to see those uh, shard cn classes in action so i'd like us to go to routes web.php and i would like us to load the file that we have in our um, pages home directory so inside here maybe i can be able to have return uh inertia render and then inside here we can be able to pass in the name of the file that we want to render so in this case i would like it to be home dot view the file that we did create some time a while ago and then after that we can be able to import inertia so here we can say use inertia 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 like that and then save then we are having issues with the uh, inertia home not found so let us see if we attempt to refresh we are having we are having the home page so it seems um, everything is working fine even if it says it uh, is given a warning but the file is there and we have already created it so no issues and since we are able to load our home page that is fine so i would like us to go ahead and and uh, try and install one of um one of the buttons or something of that sort and then we see but of course you can be able to maybe modify your tailwind uh, config.js but if we look at ours which is this one here i believe these there are things that have been written you, by uh, our shard cn so everything here is written by that and also if we look at um, the css uh, resources css app.css you can also see that there are um, css items that have been added there so i think those ones are okay so i would like to attempt because you can see this one is unstyled so if we attempt to style it using uh, shard cn we should see that um, those uh, components are taking effect so let me just attempt and do something so let us do a button so if you want to have to include a button in your application you will uh, run this command npx shard cn view at latest add button so you can be able to just um, add the components that you need and now the button component has been added so if you open component you can see button.view and um, so that is how it is and now we are in, in a position to use that button so we can maybe just uh, import it as it's mentioned here uh, we can import that button in our script setup and then go ahead and use that button so let us see if it will be displayed uh, properly with a uh, with a styling that comes from shard cn so as you can see not yet i don't know if i'm running npm run dev to compile the assets um mm -hmm. we can go ahead in our in our app.blade and also include and also include the css here such that also as the js is being compiled also the resources css app.css is also being compiled and i believe if we do that we may be in a position now to have as you can see a very uh, nice button and this button actually is a shard cn button so basically that is how you can include uh, shard cn in a laravel application and in fact 